you are watching Excalibur Forge for gaming, creating and more. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow along on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. Oh, the tables have turned. Baldi's on our side now, can you believe it? Anyway, back on the agenda. Something you need? Huh. Who are you? Kelgar Iron Fist, of course. It's a wonder you haven't heard of me, considering how I've made my mark up and down the Sword Coast for almost a year. Good to know. You no doubt have heard. Fort Locke has fallen. <laughs> Nasher has summoned you. You are to report to Castle Never at once. And only you. Your companions are to wait here. Okay, I have evil hunting for me, but let's head out without any bodyguards. Great Lord, is that what with me? The business of our Lord Nasher is his to say, not mine. You are expected to heed his wishes, not ask more questions. Lord Nasher's request cannot wait, and you will make haste to Castle Never. If not, this keep will have a new knight captain before twilight. Good. Ride fast for Neverwinter, and when you arrive, simply go straight to the castle. Nasher will be expecting you. Oh, uh, uh, it's you, the captain of Crossroad Keep. I've been waiting for some time. I bring you greetings from Lusk. Not now. The captain has urgent business. Whatever you need from him can wait till he returns from Neverwinter. Uh, yes, well, I'll, I'll be um, waiting anxiously for your return. Not just Facebook message me. And here we are, Acts 3. There is a growing darkness to the south, and Crossroad Keep is our best hope to stopping the army of the King of Shadows from reaching Neverwinter. Your keep will play a great role in the war to come. We are still awaiting word from the defense of Fort Locke, but we fear the worst. But the tidings are not all ill. Lord Nasher has prepared something for you, for all your efforts on behalf of Neverwinter. Here, these are yours to wear and to wear proudly. It is the garb of knighthood, and soon Nasher shall make you a true knight in his service. These are a symbol of knighthood? As the days grow darker, the need for heroes grows greater. And Lord Nasher wants to recognize you as one of our finest. It is you who have built the keep into the force that it is. It is your name that is echoed on the lips of the men and women here. Even Sand has been known to say a kind word or two about you. What you wear is merely a cloak until that time. But you will find it carries with it special enchantments you may find helpful. Some of the finest mages and weavers of Neverwinter have crafted these cloaks. They should afford you some measure of protection while wearing them. The rest you will discover for yourself. The ceremony will take place in the Great Hall. We have gathered together many nobles from all over Neverwinter. Come now, let us make our way to the antechamber outside the Great Hall. Lord Nasher awaits. A gnashing of Your teeth. companions, the people you have assembled in Crossroad Keep believe in you, and through you believe in Neverwinter. It is no small thing you have done here. Found the alarm. Is that... Gods, it's the ancient alarm! I never thought I'd live to see this day. We are under attack! Help me. <laughs> 
They are here for Nasser. We must get to him at once. Stop, you're ruining my birthday. What's that thing? The vampire? Six days later. Okay, guys. Oh, here's the deal. Um, I think that fight was kind of glitched because the Sir Neville, the NPC, was outside the doors when I reloaded, so he couldn't help me fight, and I couldn't defeat all these things by myself. So I had to use a, a console command to make myself invincible. Yeah, uh, that's been a couple of days ago because. When I replayed it, the ratio on OBS was all screwed up and I didn't notice, so like an hour of content I couldn't use, but luckily I had a backup save. So here we are. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Oh, <laughs> Feel my wrath. Hey, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so that does do a bit of damage, at least. There you we go. We need to reach a more defensible location. There is a guard room in the hall round the corner from here. There we can make our stand. To the guard room. Follow me. Everyone into the guard room now, quickly! In the panic room, everybody. <laughs> the castle has been sealed. It is part of the ancient defenses of the castle should it ever be attacked, something we thought would never happen. Unfortunately, it has cut us off from Lord Nasher. You must get to him or all is lost. If he's in danger, I'll go at once. Good. Look behind the tapestries in the hall. One of them should hold an entrance to Neverneath. The chambers beneath Castle Never. Neverneath has always been closed to us, but it is said when the castle is in danger, a path opens for defenders of Neverwinter. Make your way to Lord Nasher's side. We will try to be there as soon as the defenses are lifted. I am. Sure enough, fish. Oh, it's never. Nothing special about this object. I think there is. Rod of Never. Rod of Never is an object created by Lord Halloweth Never that was used to control the magical defenses of Castle Never. Sounds important, doesn't it? My sepulchre has been plundered and my nine destroyed. Oh, the Rod of Never may never leave my grasp, but shall not go far. Only the Lord of the Castle Never can use the rod and only within these castle walls. That's the gist of what he's setting. Elven. There's four. There's seven here, and there's two empty pedestals. What's up with that? Tests are all locked, unfortunately. I will be interested here at this place. I bet he will. This Shadow Reaver may seem a difficult foe, but hold your ground! And reinforcement shall be here soon. Spoiler alert. Sure enough, fish. The 
Rock Taylor Vec. The Rock Taylor Vec. Ain't not yeah. been selling ass. You see that? How embarrassing. You cast near your own spells there, pal. Are you guys seriously just gonna stand there and watch me die? I'm here to fight myself by myself? Assassins. They sent assassins here. So this is how this enemy fights with shadows instead of cold steel. It's almost as if he's the king of shadows or something. How do these things get in? They must have used night and magic to their advantage, hoping to strike at us, at you, before we could prepare. This king of shadows. His forces are powerful. Is that the rod of never you carry? Let me see it. I had heard the rod no. rested below, but Fine. none have been able to enter Lord Hallowes' tomb. It seems the ancient alarms of the keep open the way. With this rod, I should be able to open some of Castle Never's oldest secrets. It seems some good has come from this surprise attack. I think this enemy fears to face us on the field of battle. He fears to face Neverwinter and all its knights. And that now includes you. You have earned this through your deeds. The title of Knight in Service to Neverwinter. What must I do? My lord, there are certain rights for inducting knights that must be... Naval. I knighted you at Red Fellow's Watch in the mud with orcs surrounding us. Ceremonies can wait. No, now shall bow and be knighted. A knight of Neverwinter is entitled to land, a keep, and forces, my lord. And, and he women. shall have them. But you, knight captain, and your efforts here, you have served Neverwinter beyond the call of duty, risking your life not once, but several times without hesitation. If there is anything that I think will be the light against this shadow that comes against us, it is you and the fortress I have granted you. I offer you an honor. To become one of the Neverwinter Nine, the protectors of Neverwinter, the surrounding lands, and most importantly, its people. Buddy, I got my hands full with the keep. Very well then. Perhaps when this battle is over, I can urge you to reconsider. But on to the matters at hand. You have done more to halt this beast's advance than any of my knights. When he strikes, you are there to counter it, but... That is no longer enough! I am tired of waiting for this enemy to strike. I want you to find this King of Shadows. I want this beast to answer for the blood of every guardsman slain here tonight. If he crosses Neverwinter again, I want it to be the last time. To the servants of Neverwinter here before me, all fighting men of Neverwinter must take to the field to face this foe. You have seen one of its servants, and as terrible as it may seem, it can be beaten, and so can our enemy. You must spread the word. Help your neighbors to evacuate their homes as we fortify the walls of Neverwinter. We cannot allow our people to be placed in jeopardy. <clears throat> we alone must face this threat. Go now, and do what you can to prepare for the coming battle. And so a strategy must be formed. These Reavers... Whatever these things of shadow are, there is no way the Grey Cloaks can fight them. If our enemies cannot be killed, they are pawns only. Powerful, yes, but not the true threat. The base that the enemy is striking from. If we cannot reach it, then we cannot take the battle to him. He can send his soldiers out without fear of counterattack, and there is nothing we can do but fall back. Even if these ruins could be reached, we still need more men. 
Between the plague and the war with Luskin... Then we will gather more men. But not just men. This enemy threatens not just us. We must make allies, and we must do so quickly. There is much to be done, I think. But I have faith in your efforts. It is said that the captain of Crossroad Keep is the lord of the manor in all but name. Now I've named it for you. But it will not be enough. I am in need of answers, information, and as many soldiers as you can gather. I need to know how these Shadow Reavers can be killed, and how I can reach their master. And we need allies wherever they can be found, from all the races, all the peoples. This is not our war, it is theirs, whether they know it or not. Alliance of Men, Elves, and Dwarves. Carry the One Ring to Mordor. How can I find out how to defeat the Shadow Reavers? We asked the enemy. We still have some of the Arcane Brotherhood in our dungeons. Let them provide us with answers. See to it. There must be someone to reach the Shadow King of Shadows stronghold. My lord, I believe Aldenon is already searching for a means by which we can reach the King of Shadows stronghold. Half the task will be him finding it. And the second task will be trying to understand him when he explains it. Where can allies be found? There are... old alliances that Neverwinter had years ago, in the days before I took the crown. I need you to reforge these alliances. Without more troops, this battle is already lost. A clan of dwarves, the Iron Fist clan, is said to have returned to their clan hold in Old Owl Well after the pass was liberated by Neverwinter. Perhaps they would be grateful enough to aid us in the coming battle. But we cannot count on them being able to join the effort. And even so, there is still the matter of the King of Shadows. What about Lizardmen? The Lizardmen of the Mare? What of them? Will they fight for us? They are being attacked by the King of Shadows as well, why not? I do not think any lizard man would be quick to come to the aid of Neverwinter, even if we could speak with them. Yet, if they would join us, they know the terrain, perhaps even know about more of the movements of the King of Shadows through the mere. If you think you can contact them and persuade them to help us, then may the gods smile upon you. Such allies might give us the edge we need. Alright, I shall see you at once. Then I shall leave you both to these preparations. I must attend to the troops and the war effort. You are to attend to the King of Shadows. Of all our knights, no one has a greater chance of finding his weakness than you. I shall gather our forces, but you must show me where we must march. Return to Crossroad Keep and begin preparations. Naval will go to assist you, and he will remain there as long as needed. Now, go! A welcoming committee. We heard about what happened at Castle Never. The attack. It's good to see you're all right. To attack Castle Never? The King of Shadows? Garius? Oh, they're getting bold, they are. So, did you get any gold along with the knighting ceremony? I mean, not that you'd carry it with you, since I already checked your pockets in your bags. What efforts are being made in the war? Will Nasher commit his forces? And what of Waterdeep and the Lord's Alliance? Know that word of all of this has traveled before the Kalak Cha. Our duty is to carry the battle to the King of Shadows, his servants, and gather others who feel the same. Asher wants me to find a way to kill the King of Shadows. Or the Shadow Reavers, rather. No, that will not be easy. Every time they are struck down, they reform. The only losses in battle with them will be ours. There must be a way. Evil always has a weakness. We just have to find it. Well, that's the trick, isn't it? The thing is, how long do you look and where? Pardon me, but sometimes these things come to you. I mean, we can't be the only ones the Reavers have threatened or hurt. We already have crossed paths with a bunch of allies and people and sorcerers and sages we never even knew before. And we did much of that through serendipity. So have a little faith. 
Maybe an answer will come to us. Know that this may be the best we can hope for. We should search, <coughs> but the problem of the Reavers may be one that only time can aid us with. We we'll have to find some way to penetrate the claimed lands and strike directly at the King of Shadows. The claimed lands kill all life that enter it. We wouldn't be able to reach the King of Shadows in time. The movement through the mare is never swift, even in the best of times. If there's a path at all, we'd still need to know where we were going. And even then, we'd probably die getting oh, there. I don't think there's an easy path. Increasing as much as I hate to say it, know. I think we should ask Aldenon for advice on this. Not Aldenon. Nash asked me to bulls across who keeps forces by forming alliances. Alliances are made <coughs> to be broken, if agreed to at all. Good luck trying to get anyone to join our side in these times. Clan Iron Fist will help. They may take some convincing, but they wouldn't back down from a fight if they thought it was just. The lizard folk should not be ignored. They once made their homes in the Mare, and the King of Shadows has driven them out. The lizards? Their history with settlements along the Mare is bloody, but they are fiercely territorial and are likely to hate the King of Shadows even more. And we could look at last for the Wendersnaven. Oh, God. Gods? No, they're not gods. They're the Wendersnaven. They exist, even if you can't see them with the eye or touch them. They see all, know all, and have incredible powers. If they are on our side, we have a good chance of winning. Oh, really? And how do we find something you can't see or touch and most likely exists in your head? There's two sages at Port Last that are said to know something of the Wendersnaven. We could ask them. Then it seems we have a number of roads open to us, and an army to build. Yeah. Oh, I'm wait, please, Captain. I've been waiting to extend you an invitation from Luskin. I'm pressing business, which does not include invitations from Luskin at the time. Well, thank you to step aside. Very good. I'm going to sit. Just wait here then. Yeah. Oh, well met, well met. I say there are, there are a number of visitors dropping by of late. Oh, well done, I heard you had found something. No doubt something I'd want to hear, since it will no doubt put my life in jeopardy soon enough. Well, yes, I do have news, you see. I've made some progress on finding a way to reach the claim lands and enter the Vale of Merdelaine. One of the challenges solved, really. Tell me about your breakthrough. Well, you see, you won't turn into zombies once you enter the Vale of Merdelaine, which I think is quite a good omen. Omens aren't good by definition, Aldenond. Oh, of course they are, especially with a little milk and dust with jam. But you see, the life-draining effect on the King of Shadows isn't strong at the center as I expected. It seems to be strongest at the edges of his territory, where it spreads out outwards. So while you couldn't walk there, if we could hop over the wall, so to speak, then that would give you your best chance at striking the King of Shadows. What is the remaining obstacle? Getting there, you see, is the problem to do that. You need to create a portal. And fill that portal where to create its other end. Can't just have it appear anywhere, you know. It has to appear in the veil. How oh, you do both those things? You need to create a portal that's large enough. Well, and Gary has invited me to just keep kidnapped. Yes, yes, when Gary has invited me, one of the tomes he had me translate was a fascinating work called the Tome of. Elkazar. Darius has the tome? Yes, he was using it to transport legions of blade golems to and from the Vale of Merdelaine. There's no reason we couldn't use the tome to create the same portal and use it to hop into Merdelaine as if we were golems. Except with Garius, oh, or one of the Shadow Reavers has the tome. He's probably using it to control the golems. Yes, but that's a minor inconvenience. One of many, which I'm sure you'll be able to overcome. Alright. 
A visited Lord Halloweth Never's tomb beneath Castle Never. <coughs> Whatever's tomb, it's a strange sun elf chooses to be buried so far beneath the sun. But you might understand if you knew what he went through in his lifetime. According to one legend, not sure how true it is, Halloweth Never and those who followed him fled Neverwinter Wood. It was then called something unpronounceable by my tongue. Their ancestral home had been sacked by the orcs, goblins, barbarian hordes that dominated the Sword Coast in that day. After a long, bloody journey to the mouth of the river, leading from the woods, Halloweth planted his sword in the ground and called this winter of their journey. Lord Halloweth assumed this would be a graveyard for his people and mark end of his line of the elves. In despair, his people dubbed the land Never's Winter. And a group of human castoffs from south came along, and the two people formed an uneasy union and built ramshackle defenses. When the ravaging hordes came for them, the humans and elves stood together, and all expectations they prevailed. Human and elven blood bonded in that battle, and after the victory, they decided to remain there and build a city called Neverwinter. A real traveler you are. Tell you a secret one of a crowd from keep. Been here before, a terrible war with the King of Shadows raged through here. The captain, the time hid something of value before his men were slaughtered to a one. Let's check outside your walls at the base of the second tower north. You might find something of interest to you. See, he's been holding back on me. <clears throat> They're back. It's me, Captain. You got the letter about the King of Shadows, right? Brother Maxwell and I have had some fine adventures since then. We're hoping you have another quest for us. Don't forget Huin and Condrill. Uh, of course, of course. A and them too. S so, do you have any jobs for us? Choose your words carefully, Captain. <coughs> With this lot, a misplaced word could send them to the Nine Hells. The Shadows wants a guardian of the Illithan Empire. We need... Ilfarn Empire, you say? Guardian to boot? We have a new quest. You really should let the captain finish. Candrel, Juin, prepare the horses. We ride immediately. Don't you think we should ask? We've tarried here enough, Brother Maxwell. <sighs> yes, Darid. Sorry again about this. Hopefully they'll stay out of too much trouble. The letter say again. Kevin Grosso Keep, I'm pleased to report our findings from the quest you sent. It's on to gather information of the King of Shadows. We ventured south, south, south into the Mirror of Dead Men. Our goal was to head straight into the Vale of Merdelaine, where we were supposed to find many answers about the shadowy King of Shadows. The journey to the Mirror was chock full of good time, pleasant weather on the road, and accommodating barmaids at most of the inns we came across. Majuan even bought a pet ferret at a bargain price from a one eyed merchant. He named the Ferret Pogo, but more on that later. Unfortunately, before we got far in the mare, we were chased by some crazed druids. After looting them, we decided to camp for the night. We all felt as tired as the walking dead by that point, so they insisted that Maxil take first watch. And all into the night, Maxil screams woke us. He was running around the camp with an undead Pogo lamp onto his left boot. With tears of regret, Dwen uttered a cantrip and sent Pogo skipping off in the underbrush. He printed in the mirror, and we dared venture. We all talked about what happened as we hastened north, away from the mirror. Dwen said she believes proximity to the Vale of Mare Delane turned poor Pogo into the member of the walking and skittering dead. We agreed that if we had not been disturbed from our slumber, we might have suffered the same fate. I strongly urge you to tell your people to avoid proximity to the Vale of Merdelaine. Hold the oars, stare in company. P.S. You should encounter an undead ferret. Please put the poor thing out of its misery. Yeah. I think there's a bug there. That cost more gold than I had to, for the road. I see but... the moon has been at your back. You look well. Dad! Hang on, Smellenheim. The mare has grown dark, and many villages needed help in leaving before it was too late. And I have sought the scent on the breeze to learn of the Dark Hunter, King of Shadows. More can still be learned in the mare, but I have discovered something and had to tell you at once.
Tell me what? I heard one of the scouts was asking about me. Oh, well, Net. You're Dagon, aren't you? Your son has... I am Dagon, yes. And you are Eleni, of the Circle of the Mayor. Once of the Circle, yes. What do you want? What do you want with Eleni? It does concern her. It concerns you both. As I hounded the trail of the Dark Hunter and his minions, I came across something I thought lost. The Druids of our lands, the Circle of the Mare, still live. That's impossible. You're mistaken. If they were alive, I would know. I can only venture to the swamp for brief periods of time. The reeds and waters feast on the living now. I followed the Druids, and they had a ritual I think sustained them, even in the claimed lands. The Circle! They must have found a way to restore part of the Mare. Keep it from the influence of the shadows. If so, we need to find them. They can tell us more about what's happening in the mayor than anyone. And if we can get them to ally with us, we may even be able to stop what the King of Shadows is doing to the land itself. They may be in danger, we should go to them immediately. That was my thought as well. Thank you for understanding. Then you must make haste at once, if this is your course of action. Thanks for the tip. No gratitude is necessary. We are at war and it must be done. I will mark the location on your map. As for now, I have other duties in the defense of the Sword Coast in this keep, and I must see to them. Your father's not one for showing emotion, is he? It's difficult to see how he raised you, and you turned out so different. I didn't go to her, he said quite much reason, probably. He certainly did. I, for one, am pleased with the results. Regardless, we need to find the circle. But as for reaching the location, that could be difficult. Ah, uh, I thought I heard the cries of a damsel in distress. Someone had to fill Chandra's role, eh? Bishop, this doesn't concern you, so stop spying on us. My dear, with you around, it pays to be extra watchful. I like to keep an eye out to make sure you aren't trying to play our leader for a fool. And because you don't always fasten your robes as tightly as you should, sometimes I catch a glimpse of other secrets. Ooh. I didn't care, Bishop. Surprises and me travel together. You should know that by now. For another surprise, why don't you show me on the map you have there where your druid friends are? They're in the mare, along the northwestern reaches, near the settlements the orcs attacked many years ago during their incursion into Neverwinter. I suspected that might be one of the places. As for the incursions, it wasn't just orcs. That's near an area the King of Shadows isn't likely to have claimed yet. Might be a good staging area to look for your dead druid friends. Dagon says they're alive. Maybe for now. Still, if you want to go, I can guide you to a safe port on the edge of the marsh. All right. That would be welcome. It's our help, Bishop. I'm not sure I heard you right. It's not me you should be suspicious of, but that's up to you. And it doesn't sound like we've got much time. Something tells me those friends of yours may have to move around a lot if they want to avoid the shadows. Yes. Bishop's probably right. All right, then. I'll set out now. I'll start scouting the path and join up with you only when need be. It'll save us all a lot of time. Uh, pardon me, Captain, but if I could just, uh, have a moment of your time... If you don't want a dagger between your ribs, I suggest you ask for alms elsewhere. Yes. You can almost feel the shadows in the air. If you stay still for too long, it's like they start clutching at you, trying to drag you down. Okay, we're gonna stay here long. Whatever the circle did, they must have found a way to shield themselves from it. <coughs> if we can find out how they've done it, then we can reach the Vale of Meridelaine. 
I'm certain of it. Lead on, and we will follow. Here's the gathering place. Now, hold on. S something's happening. I can just make it out. I feel more at peace with each passing day. I know you sense it as well, Naven. Yeah, Will Naven. silence be your only answer? Silence and contemplation is my only peace in this place. Do not forget, I am your captive, Vashni. We keep you here because we believe in the circle. In time you will see that we are right. And when the shadow has passed, you will feel one with the land again. This isn't the mare anymore. You treat the shadow as if it were a passing mist. You fail to see how it now hangs upon you, upon this whole place. We are caretakers of this land, and we cannot abandon it. We're caretakers of a graveyard. Free me from this prison, and let's stop the decay from spreading. Elders? Is it you? Elders, forgive me for not seeking you out sooner. I thought you had all died in the claimed lands. How did you... Who are the ones who follow you? Go seek out your help. Eleni, who are they? They are my allies, my friends. They helped me reach here. They have the stench of civilization and war upon them. As do you. Our path took us to Neverwinter and through many battles. But this is the one from West Harbor, Elders. The one... I... The one I had been watching. The Shardbearer? You have brought the Shardbearer here? She cannot That's seem me. to tear her eyes from him. Which was the problem before, I believe. Well, I don't need an explanation here. I was tasked to watch you as you grew up in West Harbor. The Circle asked that I observe you, for strange events seemed to occur around you, and I had reasons of my own. Yet she could not turn away from you, from civilization. She would vanish to the border of the mare and watch you for days upon days, weeks, and then into months. A circle is not complete when one of us is missing, or is too distracted with the trappings of civilization or its people. Then only when the the circle. Thank you, but I must answer for this. There was no need for me to... There was never any need for her to watch you as she did. Elders, please. I did not intend... And even now, you defend yourself rather than admitting your negligence. She might as well be one of the harbormen and have shared their fate. Your fascination with the Shardbearer meant that we were less aware of the changes coming to this land until they were upon us. We are fortunate this time, that the land itself has chosen to speak. Speak of a common foe, we came for your hope. Who are you to ask of us? You carry within you the very symbol for your civilization's capacity for destruction. Elders, this King of Shadows, it poses a threat to us all. Not just cities and towns. Have you ever seen this King of Shadows? No. Have you spoken with it? No. Then what is this King other than a story used to explain forces greater than ourselves? We all heard you earlier. What does your former leader think? I am a captive here, Shardbearer. A captive because I refuse to resign myself to madness. Eleni, the shadow is anything but natural. I don't know if the mare, if Merdelaine can be saved, but I know that we cannot accept it. We must not- Perhaps I have misjudged your value, Naven. So are you convinced members of your order? For a druid of power, living within the folds of a tree is nothing. As the land changes, we must change with it, Eleni. 
Stop clinging to what the mare was and accept it for what it is now. Your friends will never see as we do, but it is not too late for you. Come back with us and help us weather this storm to its completion. Do you truly think what is coming is for the best? What do you mean? I've had to line in the area with pain. They're dead to us. But they are the circle. They have tended it for decades, centuries, always. Maybe they simply hear it clearer than I. Uh, the circle, not the mayor. You have seen the king of shows can go to even the strongest of people. I... You're right. They're speaking madness. Then you are lost to us and you, shard bearer. You have been allowed to spread your influence for f Yes. I suppose so. Sure enough. Face. Yeah. I lay me for grainy. I need your little friend out for this. How can I help? I am listening. Now you shall taste my power! By the arch wizard's eyebrows. Let's go, let's go. Done. The circle is dead, like the mirror. What's happening? What happened here was unfortunate, but your actions were the right ones, Elmi, and the circle was dead long before you arrived. I mean, some of Vashni's words, I believe, who have seen things more clearly than any of us. 
What will you do now, Elder Navan? I I do not know how much is left for you to watch, not any longer. I don't know. The circle is gone, as is the mirror. How much remains untouched? What happened to the circle? Too complacent, unlike Eleni, perhaps not as watchful enough. Though we felt change in the air, we could not understand it. The poison of the shadow spread quickly. Some of us failed to adapt and perished. Bashi and his followers breathed the poison deeply, learned to adapt it. But whatever eats at the mirror ate at their hearts as well. Your shadows won't stop at the mirror, we could use your help. Bashi was right about one thing. You run many ways the root cause these troubles. When the swamp blast burns, charging your chest made a black mark on the earth. However, this conflict ends. I know you will be at the center of it all. My place, however, is with the remains of the mirror. Before I can go, tell me. Why do you continue to carry the burden in your chest? I can't find a qualified surgeon. Shard may have bought ruin, but it can end things anew again as well. Perhaps, but can it mend the wounds of the land? Some things can never be undone. Though you may strive to what is right, or... Farewell, and they'll take one of on a new path. Farewell, Elder. Just name and now, Eleni. We did much here today, but I think we may speak as equals. Let's go. Let me know. Almost noble lord of Crosser Keep, hero of Neverwinter, adventures have already become a legendary. Who are you? I am Reveler Erlingstar, chosen delegate of Luskin. On behalf of Sydney and Natalie, ranking my mistress Hostower of the Arcane. Would you greet him Luskin, your friend of the North? Oh, Luskin is my friend now? Ah, uh, yes, hold on, I'll get right to the point. Sydney Nathal wishes to meet you and share information obtained regarding the weakness of the, of weakness of the Shadow Reavers. She wants exchange this information. Mr. Snell told me very little, but I believe your abilities are those your certain commanders are required to exploit this weakness. A sincere offer, you're from Luskin, this is Garius, who is hunting us, not Luskin itself. Now, as I was saying, Sidney Natel to meet with you and certain of your companions that she believes make the most use some information he has provided. Which commands does Sidney want to meet with? Founded both in the Academy Kara and the Yitzerai. Jev, do you have any other questions? You think about it. Very well, man, yeah, very ready. I'm going to long. Need to hold me with Sydney Natal. Oh, great. Journey. I'm ready. Very well, follow me. Get in the van. Hey, this is about. Oh, this should be the place. We could dead end. Not to worry, Miss Nally will be joining us momentarily. Wherever I leave us, will be some more later concerning the timeliness of your arrival and lack thereof. Yes, mistress. Ah, don't let yourself, dog. Bellbone enough. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, Captain. Yes, I see. And Cora, your father is a mage of the Academy, is he not? This were not that much alike. I'll say you're a dainty one. You look two ways of stone and two pebbles, am I right? You're able to judge for yourself when I'm standing on top of your charred body. Calhoun. Why, well, you're just trying to make a conversation with the fire one. Turns out she's 
pull this Nether's vice from Dale. I can see why you're no longer an officer of Luskin. Be silent, fool. I hired you for your brawn under tongue. Hey, sir. I'll just stand here and be a good lummox, you'll see. Sorry, but I just sent Crowther to fetch you. I would have come to cross your keep myself, but too many eyes follow my movements. Give information on how to defeat Shadow Reavers. Oh, of true names, I bought a scroll containing the names of each of the Shadow Reavers. Lost Tower of the Arcane keeps a record of the true names. Lost members use them should they ever violate their contracts. I guess Gary's a trainer. No. He wasn't really a member, was he? These true names can be used against Shadow Reavers. The ritual, the Arcane Brother tried to use the true names of Garius and the others, but they didn't work. They have ascended from their mortal forms and become something else. Uh, uh, since they could no longer control Garius, the host tower was quick to divorce itself and the involvement with Garius and his constituents. Uh, <coughs> true names are achieved were among the records to be purged. This in time, in fact, is not a We'll go to the names of the network against the Shadow Reavers. Lost Tower assumed they were useless, but I suspect otherwise. My intuition is rarely wrong in such matters, and has kept me alive for many times. Boy well, I performed divination on the true names, and they revealed a link. Unfortunately, I don't have the lore to decipher the results. You, examine this, what do you see? Well, I can read these and believe they can be of use to us, knowing the name of being gives them power over it. And could weaken the Reavers enough to kill them. So, you could read these names aloud. Recitation is difficult, but I can give these voice, yes, but they were of use to me. A few, however, are not. Both of us are like areas, why can't we work together? Of all you like, thought was how we're not negotiated to lie themselves to anyone. We take what we wish. I have no need of you, and have no care for if you live or die, you are merely a vehicle to live with these two to me. Mammoth Zayev. Having the names reciting them are not the same, but the gift can bridge the gap. I have defeated each of the weavers myself, I will turn Luskin hear my claim as master one of the spires of the host tower. You're not foolishly ambushing us, you, and remind yourself when more could be done if we are allied. Forget this, I will say. We burn this house tower, mage, take the names. Akara, <coughs> you have treasure to keep, circumstances are not otherwise. Trying to kill us could want to try it, you witch, or your perfume does the job for you. Okara, I won't bother you myself, I'll let my servant finish the job as it was intended. Wait, what are you talking about? My dear, the host tower has been promised your father's entire academy of servants. And as we see fit to use as we see fit. Price that we deal with you permanently. Really something you can't pass up, even considering your natural talent. It is a waste of such potential. Best to punch a fire before it grows out of control. Yes. Yes. I suppose so. Sure enough, fish. Yes. Go figure. Now you shall taste my power. Let 
More have come to block our path. My spells have failed me. Sure the fish. What? My spell failed? Impossible! You can't attack it directly, I think that's what's going on. You know nothing, Academy Living Cantrip Casting Sock! Eleme Vakrain! Our foot was just over there. Vakotsu Lak Varos! I had not thought it possible. You have defeated it, destroyed it utterly. Save a witch. That's your last trick. You don't have much future left. Your car, you're quite a catch indeed, and such a temper. Go boo and earn your pay and slay them. I guess the last mistake you'll ever make. You know what? Sydney isn't paying me enough for this. I'm out of here. I need your help to murder this slot. Today's a number jail boon. I'm finna show come for you. Ah, I guess we're just it's safe then. Yes. Mentosus form. Let me lead the way. You follow behind. Where is she? Let us attack! Sorry, 
Looks like this one is here, does it? Should've been here, it's doing... <laughs> I'll some days now, so I can't do shit. Sorry, What else can I get there? Okay, that's seriously disorienting as fuck. There we go, folks. There we go, folks. There we go, folks. There we go, folks. There we What else we got there? <laughs> Not be What the hell? Unbelievable. <laughs> that's retarded. Oh my god, that's stupid. Again, seriously. Say This is some serious bullshit she's pulling here. didn't have the power to stop us and those reavers won't either. Despite this ambush, the battle has worked in our favor. These true names are a weapon we can use against the reavers. We should return to the keep with them at once. Yeah, let's go. The sooner we're back at the keep, the better.
Night Captain, welcome back. Have you found what you needed to counter the Shadow Reavers? Indeed I did. Excellent. I've had our scouts scouring the lands for the Reavers. They are elusive, but we've tracked one of their number. It patrols with a large force near Crossroad Keep. I'll mark the position on your map. We only know its general location, so be careful not to stumble into a trap. Perhaps Guyvin could help? He was giving advice to the scouts earlier. Good luck in your hunting, Captain. Hmm. Well, guys, I guess we'll save the other stuff for next time. I will thank you for watching. Uh, I do have a new Excalibur Exhumes out. It's uh, about feral humans. It's pretty cool. Go uh, check that out on my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Reddit and Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, give a like and follow if you want. And I will see you later. Bye-bye for now.